Hi everybody, it's Rachel here from Scrappy Happy here on YouTube and I also go by the same name Scrappy Happy over on Instagram. This is the Traveler's Notebook Part 1 Folio Construction. So right now I have a piece of cardstock that's cut by 9 and 3 quarters and by 11 and I am going around and putting score tape on because this is going to be the book cover. I have already gone along and scored at a half inch on all four sides and now I'm just mitering the corners so I'm going to have a nice clean fresh look at the bottom of each part. So then I score along or fold along the score line and then I'm going to push it down and it's going to give a nice clean finish. I can burnish with my burnish tool uh, to get a nice crisp fold line. So I'm just going along and doing that here. And when you're mitering, you're making sure you have no overlap. So there's no bulk in the corners, which is not going to make your book look very nice from the inside. So once that's all done, then I went and got my scoreboard and I scored at four and a half and at five and a half. And in hindsight, I probably should have used my longer scoreboard at the time, but this was handy. So I just grabbed this and this is what's going to give you the spine to be able to make a chunkier style, style folio. So you have space to put all the um, embellishments and ephemera inside the book. So you just fold it up and crisp it up. And there's some nice crisp lines there for the folio. So the next step is going to be to put and make the inserts or the folios. So as I said, you're going to need four of these at eight and a half by 8.75 inches. And then you're going to be scoring on the eight and three quarters side at half an inch and 4.75 inches or four and three quarters. And then you just go ahead and you are folding the folding along the fold the little one goes one way folds one way and the bumpy way and the other side goes the dented way so you have two opposite ways that the direction's going and then on the half inch side you're going to just miter the corner just to help with the bulk on your folio pages and then you're going to get the last piece for the folio page that measures, oh, hold on. We're going to put score tape on all the flaps first. And then on the first piece, we're going to put tape all around the four sides because this is going to be attached down to the base of your cardstock. So I'm just taking off all the tape here and preparing it to put it on to the front cover and when you put it onto the front cover you're going to have the non-fold side attach to the front of the cover. Uh, my suggestion is with this one I made I put it maybe a little bit too close to the edge uh, so Think about that and maybe just bring it a little bit in more than I did so that uh, the pages don't start edging out of the book. And then you take your tape and you put it on to the inside of the half inch flap. And then you're going to take your final piece, which was eight and a half by eight and a half. And you've scored on the four uh, and a quarter side and you're going to just stick it down. So you have on this side three different panels that we've prepped. Two of the eight and a half by 8.75 and the last one being the eight and a half by an eight and a half. So again we're going to do the same side in case you need those instructions again. We're going to go around and put tape on all four sides of the panel that does not have the half inch in preparation to put down onto the cover and if you place it quite right on the cover you will have a very clean finish on the inside of your traveler's notebook folio so I'm just putting that on the side there again think about making sure the fold is a little bit closer to the inside of the fold of your traveler's notebook so the pages stay inside then I'm taking the second piece of eight and a half by eight 
0.75 piece of paper, butting it up to the fold, folding it down and folding it across like that. And then finally, your shortest piece, which is the eight and a half by eight and a half piece of paper, which is scored on the um, four and a quarter side is the last panel page that goes in. It doesn't need the half inch because it's not attaching to anything on the other side. And then you have your four pages there that fold out accordion style for your traveler's notebook. So here we are at the next section. We're going to start adding the flaps and the pockets. This is the large pocket that goes on the front. It measures 3.25 by 9.5 and you're scoring on three sides at half an inch to make your pocket again once you've done that you're going to miter however I always seem to miter before I put the tape on you get a much better coverage with the tape if you put the tape on first and miter after I guess this way you don't waste a little bit of tape but uh, you do get a nice nicer finish to put down so you're going to put the fold of the pocket along the fold line of your first page in your folio. And so I'm just sticking it down to make sure the edges line up nice. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So here I am just doing the other side now. I'm putting the score tape on the pocket and I've mitered the edges and I'm just peeling it off and I'm going to be lining it up on the fold side. The great thing with this traveler's notebook folio is that you will find that as you make a few of them, it will speed up. So if you're somebody who likes factory work style crafting and want to make a bunch of bases in preparation, this project's for you. So here we are, we're going to attach the pocket. The pocket piece was the piece that measures five inches by 4.75 inches and you're going to score uh, along three sides at half an inch. So then you can score it and you're putting the tape down after they've been folded in, peeling it off and this pocket is going to go on the back cover page on both sides of your traveler's notebook. So line up the fold with the white paper line page and just make sure it's really stuck down there nice. And then I've gone to the front. Just make sure that you don't start flipping the book around and you have an upside down pocket. Uh, so just double check before you do stick that down to make sure that it's all there and ready to go. So see this time you can see I'm putting the score tape on before I miter and it does make a nicer finished image when you do that first. It just seems to stick down better and your items will go into the pocket better when you do that. So I'm just sticking it down. Again, what you do to one side, you do to the other. And there we go, our pockets. Okay, so now the next step is the large flaps. The large flaps will be going uh, across from each other. So these measure four and a half by 4.75 inches and you're scoring on the four and a half side at half an inch and then you're just folding it and putting your score tape down. Now it really doesn't matter where your flaps go. You can take my suggestions. You could maybe add some more flaps if you're somebody who likes a lot of flaps or maybe you don't like flaps and you're going to get rid of it. I like the flaps for interactivity play us uh, for interactivity and you'll see later that we will add some journaling spots and it just adds some interest to your page. So I'm just sticking those down into the book and when I'm measuring putting them in I'm making sure that as close as I can they are right across from each other so there they are in there and then I'm going to go to a, the other side and do the exact same thing I'm adding the large flap on the one side of the fold and then the large flap on the other side of the fold and we do this first so that when we start covering with paper we won't see any of the flaps and so that just really adds some really nice interactivity and then the last flap uh, of this pr project is the one that measures 4.75 inches by 4 inches. And you're going to score on the 4.75 uh, inches at half an inch. And then you're going to find a spot and 
panel and then you're going to put it on. You may choose to put it on the opposite side so that the interactivity part isn't so close. You again mix it up as you go. So this fold line matches along the edge of the page at the top and the bottom of this project. You could also decide to just put one of these flaps on and put it somewhere else in the book if you like. Again, there's no kind of rules to this. This is just kind of what I came up with for the inserts for uh, this first design of the Traveler's Notebooks. The great thing about folios is that they are so flexible. So again, what you do to one side, you do to the other. So it kind of went off frame. What I am doing is lining up the fold with the edge of the top of the page and the edge of the bottom of the page and just attaching those nicely. And so there we go. As you can see, everything is perfectly mirrored on um, each side so that it is ready to be Again, decorating and so there's the nice spine so part two of this video is going to be all about decorating thanks so much for watching see you later